Here's a hard truth. Companies don't hire people who just study hard. They hire people who can do the work. Now think about it from an employer's perspective, right? Hiring is a risky thing to do. You're, you're engaging with a long-term relationship or with a person and you don't just want to pick someone off the street who watched a few courses. They, you need some proof that they can do the work that you want them to do. Now, this does not mean that you need to have a university degree and that you need to have many years of experience. They just want to have some level of indication that shows that you can learn the skills that are required to do the job that they want you to do. And the good news here is that you don't need to be in a job to to create those skills, to get that experience. Most people think that you need to be working as a DevOps engineer in order to get DevOps experience. It's the old conundrum, right? But that's not the case. You can get DevOps experience in your current job, or you can even do it at home in your free time. In the latest Linux Foundation report, here's what they tell you about hands-on experience. Hands-on experience and portfolio of accomplishments are key to evaluating technical skills. So when asked how important are the following education and experience factors when assessing a candidate's technical skills, the relevant hands-on experience is rated at 95%. Next comes a portfolio and examples of previous IT accomplishments. And then, then comes the certification and last comes a formal degree or a university degree. And this is a very interesting piece of information that relevant hands-on experience is most important and a portfolio of examples of previous IT accomplishments. To get this portfolio of accomplishments, you do not need to be in a DevOps job to do that. You can literally do that at home. This will solve the problem where you need a job to get experience, but you need experience to get the job. So I'll tell you the story of what I did in my career change. And remember, I was in the worst possible place to do this, right? Well, becoming a DevOps engineer did not come out of the blue. I had been, in my free time, I had always been like coding, scripting, and tinkering with Linux. And that's how I came to the conclusion that I wanted a career in tech. What I did in my free time was I, <laughs> I was playing RuneScape from a very young age, I was like 12. And after a couple of years, I figured out you could script these games. You could automate these games. This escalated pretty quickly. And soon I was setting up Linux servers that I rented in Germany. And I had an army of bots of hundreds of accounts that were farming gold for me, which I would then sell on the black market. To do this, I had to learn coding, automation, and Linux administration. So I basically was a DevOps engineer already. I was doing that work. I was just not doing that in a formal job. 